Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. So download this x86 and x64 file. So click on x86 file, and then you can run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. If you see, and now download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Restart is a must after this. Next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now open this game folder, binaries folder, again 64 folder. Over here you can see the game exe file. Make a double click and launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click, then go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game, and then check. If that does not work, again, this time, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. If that does not work, you can even select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Still not working. You can even try this Vista Service Pack 2 or Service Pack 1 or Vista. You can try and check which one is working fine for you. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimizations, hit apply, click on OK, and then check. Still not working, then do the same thing with the first exe file and then check. Still not working, so when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step. Hit apply, click on OK, and the next step is to uh, Allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then go to privacy and security and then go to Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. So this is the location in my case. So select the game exe file. Click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. And then open this game folder, binaries, win64. Select this exe file and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Go to System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings at the top. Click on Allow another app. Click on Browse. And then again, go to the Game Installation folder. Open the Game folder. Select the Game EXE file. Click on Open. Click on Add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on Allow another app. Click on Browse. Open this folder, Binaries, Win64. Select this EXE file. Click on Open. And then click on Add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to set Windows Power Plan to Power Saver. So type in Control Panel in Windows Search Box and then go to Control Panel. Go to Hardware and Sound and then go to Power Options. Now over here you will see Balanced or you, you may also see this option Power Saver. So if you see Power Saver, you can select Power Saver or you can even go for balanced and then you can check. Now the next step is to disable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this you can just open Windows settings and then go to system and then go to display and then go to graphics. Now click on graphics over here and you can expand this hardware graphics settings and if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on you can turn this off and then you can check. Once you're done playing the game, you can always turn it on. Next step is to install DirectX. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. 
on this website here you can see directx end user runtime web installer so click on download and then run the exe file click on yes to allow accept next i will uncheck install bing bar next and let the installation complete this may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute and once this is done you will see finish option restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check so click on finish and then restart your computer and then check next step is to verify the game file now for this go to steam maker right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so go to the steam maker right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work for few players typing slash high has also worked so you can even uh, type in this and then you can launch the game and then you can check if that does not work in that case you can even try this uh, sorry if that does not work you can even try dash safe so type in dash safe and then you can check so in my case it's working let me close the game so you can try this if nothing is working then you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files now when you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch now for this you can open file explorer in your computer and go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder and then find here you can see robocop folder now you can open saved folder this is where you have the save game file so First of all, try to delete the config file. So make a right click and delete all the saved settings will be lost. So you can make a right click, delete it, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can rename this complete Robocop folder. So you create a backup first. So copy it and maybe paste to the desktop. Once you have a backup now, now you can just rename it, but you will lose all the save game progress. You can rename it or you can even delete it. Dot old and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see the screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings and windows at box click on graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added now you can click on the game and then over here select high performance and you will see your graphic card again click on add desktop app and then open this game folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on app add and scroll down and find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and gpu preference set it to high performance 
and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected which you're not using, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controllers. Sometimes we have control the USB dongle for the controller or USB cable connected. You can disconnect extra controller. Disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, you can close it. Also disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click in the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also, if you have any other overlay application, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings and turn off overlay. If you have GeForce experience or maybe if you are using Nvidia app, you can open Nvidia app and then you can go to settings and then you can uh, turn off Nvidia overlay. Now, if you have any other, also close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI, Afterburner, Reward Tuner, any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Update Windows to the latest version. This is important. Now for this, you can open Windows settings and then go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB, so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is connected when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. But if you're able to launch the game, you can turn off frame generation, you can lock the FPS to 60, switch from, uh, switch from DLSS or FSR to TA or you can even turn off upscaling or lower down graphic settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. So once you launch the game, you can go to settings. So go to options over here and then go to video settings 
Now over here, you can see uh, if this is set to NVIDIA DLSS, then you can turn off this NVIDIA frame generation. So turn off NVIDIA frame generation. In my case, this is already grayed out. If that does not work, you can even remove NVIDIA DLSS. You can set it to TSR or you can even turn it off and then check. Scroll down. Now over here, if you see NVIDIA reflects low latency, if this is on, you can turn this off. You can lock the FPS to maybe 60. Now over here, uh, you can switch to window mode and you can lower down resolution. So if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And for graphics, now if everything is set to like uh, high or epic, in that case, if it is set to epic, you can set it to high. You can even set it to medium or you can even go for low quality and then you can apply the settings and then check the performance. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. After the uninstall, you can go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to any external drive, D drive or E drive, any, any drive, then try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.